In the realm of timekeeping, where precision meets luxury, Rolex stands as an emblem of excellence. For decades, the brand has held a steadfast reputation for its conservative approach, epitomizing timeless elegance with incremental changes. Yet, in the ever-evolving landscape of horology, even the most venerable institutions must adapt. In the wake of Watches and Wonders 2023, Rolex emerged not merely as a purveyor of watches, but as a harbinger of innovation. The unveiling of novelties defied convention, sending shockwaves through the watch community. The celebration dial Oyster Perpetual, adorned with vibrant bubbles, breathed new life into a classic silhouette. The Puzzle Day Date, with its whimsical, emojified date wheel, challenged the boundaries of traditional design. And then the Le Monde Daytona, a tribute to racing heritage, captured hearts with its bespoke movement and iconic Paul Newman-style exotic dial. In the aftermath of such audacious releases, speculation runs rampant. What will Rolex unveil at Watches and Wonders 2024? The anticipation hangs thick in the air, swirling with excitement and curiosity. Enthusiasts, collectors and connoisseurs alike await with bated breath, eager to glimpse the next chapter in Rolex's storied legacy. The brand's trajectory has shifted, veering into uncharted territory. No longer bound by the shackles of conservatism, Rolex has embraced the spirit of innovation, embracing change with open arms. The horizon stretches wide, offering boundless possibilities for what lies ahead. And in the hands of Rolex, change becomes a symphony of elegance, precision and timeless beauty. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe. Coke GMT Master. Out of all the hypothetical watches laid out in this article, this is the only one that has some tangible evidence to back it up. Just last month, a patent that Rolex had filed in 2022 came to light. And what was on that patent? Oh, just a description of the bicolor ceramic bezel in red and black. The Coke bezel, of course, has a strong history within the GMT Master II line. In fact, the original GMT Master II that was released in 1982 had a Coke bezel, distinguishing it at the time from the Pepsi GMT Master that would remain alongside it in production for several years. The Coke GMT was produced from 1989 to 2005, but only in an aluminum variant. We've never seen a Coke bezel in Rolex's durable Cerachrom ceramic material. It certainly seems like Rolex is working on one though, and hopefully we'll get to see it this year. The return of the Milgauss. Fans of quirky Rolex were disappointed last year when the Milgauss was unceremoniously discontinued. The watch, which originally debuted in 1956 as an anti-magnetic watch for scientists and engineers, in recent years, it also became known for its decidedly non-traditional style cues, including green-tinted sapphire glass and a lightning bolt-shaped seconds hand. It may be too soon for Rolex to revive the Milgaus. It's only been gone for a year after all, though. But then again, maybe not. The Air King was discontinued by Rolex in 2014, but was revived in 2016, using the same case and movement of that era's Milgaus. The Air King then got another makeover in 2022 with a new case, movement and dial, so, if Rolex is in the recycling mood again, it could bring back the Milgors using the Air King's case and movement. But I would like to see a bit more innovation from Rolex when it comes to the scientist's watch. Omega has massively upped the ante when it comes to anti-magnetic watches in recent years, with its Meta-certified watches now being resistant to magnetic fields up to 15,000 Gauss. The Milgors only ever claimed protection against 1,000 Gauss, hence the name. Even Tudor, Rolex's sister brand, is now using meta-certified movements with the same magnetic resistance, so I would hope Rolex can create a new highly anti-magnetic movement for the new Milgauss to make it the industry standard once again. A sea dweller in RLX Titanium. Last year, Rolex debuted the Yachtmaster 42 in RLX Titanium. The lightweight sports watch quickly became one of the hottest new Rolexes, and many are speculating that Rolex may give the titanium treatment to the Submariner this year. But I'm not so sure. I think Rolex is more precious about the sub and what it does with the collection compared to its less popular models, and a titanium submariner just feels like too big a departure for the brand. But what does seem likely is a sea dweller in RLX titanium. As Rolex's more serious dive watch, the sea dweller makes a much better candidate for the ultralight technical material. Plus, the mega souped up version of the sea dweller, the deep sea challenge, 
already exists in titanium. Day dates with display case backs, another big surprise from Rolex, not emoji dial surprise level, but still shocking, was the debut of sapphire display case backs showing off the movements of certain Daytona models and its new dress watch, the 1908. Rolex had only ever released one watch with an exhibition case back before, an obscure rectangular Cellini from the 2000s, so the new display case backs were a big deal and brought Rolex more in line with the rest of the luxury watch industry, where sapphire case backs showing off decorated movements are pretty standard. So I'm thinking Rolex will expand its display case back offerings in 2024, and the day date seems the most likely candidate to get the upgrade. Like the 1908 and the platinum and white gold Daytonas that have already received display case backs, the day date is only available in precious metal, continuing the theme Rolex established last year. Of course, if Rolex does go this route while continuing to use the Calibre 3255 in the day date, then it will have to tart up the rather utilitarian looking movement. A Polar Explorer. This one would both be the easiest watch of this list for Rolex to create and the one that seems the least likely. All I want to see is a white dial on the regular Explorer, like the one that's been available on the Explorer 2 for decades. There are no technological feats to tackle or new materials to master to accomplish this. Rolex knows how to make a white dial, so why does it feel unlikely? Well, mainly because Rolex hasn't done it yet. It's not like they don't know people want it and would love it, they just haven't been in any rush to give it to us. But here's why I think there's a slim chance we could finally get an Explorer wand with a white dial. In the past few years, Rolex has been paying a lot of attention to the Explorer, and even getting, dare I say it, experimental with its most basic watch. In 2021, we saw the release of the Explorer in two-tone rolls or for the first time. Then, last year, Rolex expanded the line by adding a 40mm Explorer in steel alongside the existing 36mm watch, giving buyers the choice of two sizes of Explorer for the first time. So why not continue the product line's expansion with a polar dial? Revamped Cleaner Yachtmaster 2 Reference 126680 Born in 2007, this collection has remained unchanged since its introduction except for minor changes on the dial in 2017. As such, it is one of the most flashy and one of the biggest watches in the collection, and it doesn't quite fall in line with the rest of the brand's portfolio. We think it is time for the Rolex Yachtmaster II to be redesigned, streamlined and upgraded. What could be done to the Yachtmaster? First, it is a niche watch with very specific functionalities dedicated to regattas. Its unique chronograph movement the Calibre 4161 with a column wheel and vertical clutch is enhanced with a programmable countdown function and a mechanical memory. While we don't want to touch the overall display and how this movement works, we can imagine some mechanical upgrades, such as implementing the Chronogy escapement, minor updates on the same level as last year's Daytona. However, we've imagined rather important design changes, starting with a reduction in the watch's size to a slightly more wearable diameter of 42mm. Analyzing the overall look of the previous Yachtmaster 2 and how it works, we would definitely retain the fantastic Ring Command bezel device to set the countdown and the dial's layout. However, we have streamlined the bezel, removing the double 10 zero scale and the larger Yachtmaster 2 engraving in favor of a classic 60 scale to work in conjunction with the central chronograph hand. Finally, in line with its nautical vocation, we'd give this new Yachtmaster reference 126680 an optional steel bracelet or a blue Oysterflex rubber strap.